Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Mixed Media. And I thought I'd just come on today and show you what I've been up to in the last week or two. I haven't been spending much time in my studio. Um, I did add some shelves to that um, shelf back there. Okay, here's a before of these shelves. And I got my hair cut. Got undercut. Fun stuff. And then um, I've got some stuff I've been working on. I've got Inktober and some collage. And I thought we'd go ahead and cut it up and do the, you know, upside down surprise. Because I know you guys like that. So that's what we'll be coming so up. So what have I been doing? Well, we buy some stencils because I was watching. I was scrolling on Instagram. And Carolyn Doobie had some new ones. And so then I looked. Um, this is These are all from, um, what is it called? Stencil Girl. And uh, Carolyn Doobie does a lot of gel printing and stuff. And so I saw she had a new one. So I just kind of searched her. And I think most of these, I'm not sure about the small ones. I think the small ones are also her. The large ones are definitely her. So this one, I don't, oh, it's the two small ones are called, I just had it. Here it is. Uh, I am words. I think this one is that one. I am enough. I'm creative, thankful, brave, strong, intelligent, worthy, bold, uh, courageous, empowered. And then the other one is fridge poetry stunt for the other small one. So hopefully you can see that. These are just smaller ones. And then I got the 9 by 12 ones. And this one is L829 Doobie. By Carolyn Doobie. L829 is the Emotions and Feelings 3. So, sorry. You can see it. You can see the whole thing this way, but if you wanted to see it. But I wanted some words for when I do jelly plate printing and when I do mixed media and stuff. So, that's why I got these. And I got different size words. Because uh, you'll see some of these other ones. I got a variety of sizes of words. These are actually, I think these are actually, this one's, some of these are a little smaller. And then they get bigger at the bottom. And this one is L318, which is L318, wall of words stencil. And then this one, see, bigger words. I like variety. What can I say? Ooh, there's an ampersand too. This one is L258. L258 is uplifting words stencil. So you got fearless, boundaries, choose here, can, strong, all the, all the things. And then got this one, which is Fun Mix Media one, L417. Rectangular patterns for play. I almost got the circles. Maybe next time. I was trying to keep it under a... I was trying to... Yeah, you know. You gotta. You can't just buy all the stencils you want all at once. And then this one, I have a ballerina stencil. A ballerina journal I'm going to be doing in the upcoming months. And it's L418. The dance... The dance of this life. Oh, look. The dance of this life. It's right there on the stencil. So I thought that would fun be fun to use in... The ballerina journal that I have coming up for my, my sister-in-law is who I'm making that one for. So that would be fun. And then I thought I'd show you what I've been working on. We'll start with the uh, Inktober. My friend actually asked if she could have these when I'm, you know, when I finish the month. So I'm going to make them into a book. Uh, she might not get all 31 because she doesn't, you'll see, she doesn't know who one of these people are. <laughs> So what would be the point? Like, you know, she, she won't appreciate. I'll tell you when we get to it. So this one is day one, which is gargoyle. And I'm doing them in um, a, sty a doodling style. Because I like to doodle. And I thought, well, there, I'll just do my own thing and do doodling. So they all have some, some form of doodling. Day two was scurry. My son, my older son came up with little baby turtles scurrying to the ocean. And day three was bat, so I just did a doodle of bat wings. Day four was scallop, so there's just a whole bunch of different, you know, scallop edges kind of a deal. Someone thought it looked like ramen noodle, so now that's probably all you see. <laughs> and then was flame. Day five was flame, 
So I just kind of did this little random. Oh, I got my protractor in the mail, so I made circles. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> and then bouquet. So I did, uh, instead of doing flowers, which would have been fine, would have been pretty. It would have been, and it might have been easier. Because I got to tell you, making your own maze is not easy. <laughs> If you want to actually be able to get through to the end and not have five ways to get through to the end. Um, so this was the wine has an amazing bouquet. So we've got the maize and the wine, the bouquet of the wine. Yeah, I, I didn't need to explain all that, did I? This one was trip. So I just got the road, the signs, and some doodling on the sides. This one was match. The only reason I colored this one is because it's the only way to figure out where the socks were. Because I had a little template for my sock and was tracing it and... And I was like, well, is that a sock or is that? And I still messed up with the pink ones, but that's why they're right next to each other in the bottom. So it was easier to keep track. So I'll either give her this one as is or I'll um, trace it empty so she can color it. And this one is Nest. This one was fun. And this one is Crabby. And this one was Eagle, and I actually, I found an Eagle online and printed it out and then rubbed the pencil on the back and then drew him on. I can't actually draw that good. But his feathers are all doodled. And this one was Forget, so I, and I colored it purple so that, you know, it had to be purple because it's for Alzheimer's. And then this one was Kind, and some of you might be able to see who she is. I consider her an ambassador for kindness. So, but like my friend who I'm, who, who I'm giving this to, she doesn't know who Gail Augustinelli is. So I probably might either keep that one or send it to Gail. We'll see. This one was empty, right? You empty out this pumpkin to make the jack-o'-lantern. This one was armadillo. I didn't feel like drawing an armadillo. So I just did the patterns on the armadillo's back. This one was foul. So um, I found a little picture similar to him online and freehand drew him and in order to get him the same way each time I did the same thing with the pencil only I'd flip the sides to trace it and and get a cute little quail see Stephanie it's a quail Stephanie has a story about seeing quails um and then this one was scrape so it's kind of just look you know you can see kind of where something was scraped to smooth the top and underneath is the doodles and this one is today which is ponytail so that is what i've that's i've been doing that i kept up with that what is it day 18 18 days in a row i have done my doodles that's that's a big deal for me doing something for 18 days in a row i hardly ever do that also while i've been away i've been i took all my scraps upstairs so i could hang out with people and i've been doing a lot of um, collage. Let me see if I can move guys out a little bit. So I thought maybe we could take a couple of these and turn them into tags. I just had this notebook. I actually got it at thrift store. It probably was half off. Um, and it's not, I don't necessarily like using these in my journals because they're just kind of bright. I mean, it could food color but I have ones that are vintage and I prefer to use the vintage ones so I figured hey that's a place good place for me to collage and they're thick enough that if I want that to be the back of the tag it can or I could add a backing so these are the uh, collages I've been doing and at some point I started just kind of like putting my papers together which made my collage go faster because, you know, I had her and I had some papers that kind of coordinated with her. Oh, and hold on. That's my grandpa. Grandpa's handwriting. This is going to be in a digital that's coming up. When I get to my thousand subscribers, I have a free, instead of doing a giveaway where one person wins, I'm doing a giveaway where everybody can get uh, the digital. But I can't release it until I get to a thousand subscribers. So help me on, people. <laughs> you don't have to, but you can. So I'll pick out a couple of these and we can do that discover tags kind of a thing. I have a lot of scraps. Oops, missed a spot. As you can see, and then some are just started. I'll add to them as I find the papers I want for them. 
And then these are like my digitals. That's scrapbook paper. That's jelly plate print. That's Louisa Heinzel. That's jelly plate print. That's my digital. That is my porch prints. I think the romantic writer. My digital original little bits of yeah, like this is a gel plate print. Yellow. Maybe I'll pick out the ones that have kind of fall colors. And that's got actually the fall right down the middle. So, I figured instead of making you guys watch me do all the collaging, I would just go ahead and do it. And, uh, and, we, and then we could do the cutting it up together. I thought that would be fun. Oops, that stuff sticks you know that's from a nice spy book use all the things just you know and I've got more pages to use up so this was a nice way to keep them all together so let me find that one has fall colors <coughs> that one's got fall colors and so does that one look at that I think there was another one in the back so we'll do some four by six journal cards, I think, and some three and a half by five tags and some pockets. I'm not good about remembering to do pockets. Uh, where's the where's the yellow mums type type of deal? Not there. Oh, it's further back than I realized. There they are. Get that one. Yeah, and that one. We got five, so we'll cut up five today, because that's kind of fun, and then maybe we can decorate one or two if we have time, and then hopefully I have another video that I'm going to make later, to, hopefully today, later today, um, if you watch Carrie the Crafter, then you will have seen that one, um, you know, some of his subscribers have asked him to do his um you know he turns the ugly 12 by 12 papers and make something new out of them and so they've asked for like color combinations and he's been doing that and I thought well I think that would be fun to do you know do my take on it because Carrie and I have a little bit we're we have a little bit of a different style of how we do things I'm trying to find where I stop <laughs> And I want it to be straight, so I'm trying to find a line there. There we go. That'll work. And so, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and take on that challenge with him. And I think some other people have been doing it, too. Um, maybe not YouTubers, but some um, people in our makers. Make, makers of mixed media art slash artist. Or if you're British, art stroke artist. <laughs> I'm like, don't have a stroke. I always have to remember when they say stroke, it means slash. All right, so I don't know which direction. How long, how tall is this? I mean, how, it is eight. So not eight and a half, oh, because I cut off some of the eight by 11. So if I want to do four, so let's go ahead and cut off six. And that will give us six, two, six by four journal cards right there. By four. And then now this is about five, five and, well, you think it'd be five exactly, but it's about five. So five, three by five for some tags. Uh, it's eight inches, two and three quarters. Let's do so we can get three, three ish tags. So two and three quarters by five, two and three quarters. And then the last one ends up being. Well, let's take that off the edge anyway, about two and a half. So if I did like the between the half and three quarters, it might be a little bit more even, but that's all right. I'm good with that. All right, so from that one, we have. Yeah, we'll make you wait to the end. What would you stick around for if I didn't make you st stay to the end to see what they all are? Um. And I think I will pause when I um, and do the rounding and the things and then show them to you so you can see them as they should be. So, I think I'll do the same thing, but I'll start at this end and do six. 
by four. Okay. And then, well, uh, yeah, I'll do the next one a little bit different probably because we don't want to just see me do the same thing over and over. So, to between the two and a half and two and three quarters is what I'm doing. I may end up with one that's two and three quarters. And then this one ends up being two and three quarters. Ha ha, I peaked. <laughs> All right, we might need some pockets too. And pockets will be um, usually about four by three maybe. So let's do four inches. For the width of the pocket, and then I think it could also be journal cards, journal cards or pockets. Four by three. I'm gonna do one with four by four so I can make it a corner tuck. Is that what this one's gonna end up being? Yep, so I have two that are four by four, and one that's four by three, and then this one I'll do. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna do three and two and two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm doing two and seven eighths. Because I think that will get me close to nope, the last one's still gonna be small, so I might as well just done it three. The last one ended up being so it'll be small journal card or tag. Two and a half. But those will still be journal cards or pockets. Now for this one, cut off my side here. So how's everybody doing? Have I not asked you that yet? Oh my goodness, I'm so rude. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing quite well. Um, I've loved hearing the comments how you're doing. All right, so this one's five by three and a half. I don't want to do them all exactly the same, but I would like, actually, I kind of do want to do them all exactly the same because then they're easier to stack in a, uh, in a thing. So this one is four. So it's five by four. And then this one, 11, so five and a half will be halfway. So that'll make some five and a half by was it five three? Alright, and we got our last one. And then I'm gonna pause while I do those up and then come back and you can see. Alright, I kinda like see where this I think I'm gonna come over three inches here just so that I don't cut that flower completely. But it's okay if you cut some by five and a half. Three by five and a half. So now we're left with we have five. So how about two and a half? We'll do some small tags. Maybe even a belly band. We only need eight for or eight and a half for a belly band. Or a side pocket. Whoops. I'm not supposed to show you that. Uh, let's see, this is 11, so let's do through 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so that's two that are 4 inches, and then should have one that's 3 inches. 4, not 3 inches. Yeah, 3 inches. Alright, I'm going to make these look better, and then I'll bring them back for you to see. Okay, so let's start with the journal cards. And some of these I have used this punch, a couple of them, and the rest I've used this punch or and for the tags and a couple of the journal cards. I use that punch. You don't need those punches, but you know, sometimes they're fun to have. So there's that one and that one. So like this is the this long part 
here and then this one is the, the short corner and then if I wanted to put a hole in it I would do that like supposedly supposedly where's the middle let's try it see and that puts that puts a hole in them as well in those other two corners okay so well now it could be a tag because it has a hole in it but there's no hard and fast rules about whether it's a journal card or a tag they're basically the same thing they're a piece of decorative ephemera that generally you can write on the back sometimes you can't sometimes they're decorated on both sides so this one I just did little corners off each end this one so I can never remember yeah, this one is the half inch corner round. And so is this one. Oh, here's another one from that other thing. This one I just did the little corners. There's half, half inch. And this one's quarter inch rounded. So those are the journal cards. And then we have our tags. See, remember I tried to save the flower? I got most of the flower on one tag. So that's cool. And then we've got the numbers coming right down the middle there, kind of like that. This is a uh, Louisa Heinzel. She's got like pockets and stuff, but I don't always use them as pockets. Uh, sometimes I'll tear them out to use for uh, collage. Some this one I um, die cutted the circle out of it. You can kind of see the the seam that the die cut makes. And so you know you don't have to just have squares and rectangles for your collage. You can have circles. Um, I know I have one of. Uh, Rachel's labels in here somewhere Rachel Roxy creation actually right here which it looks really kind of cool with that piece of jelly plate print right there and like here where there's that big white spot generally what I'll do is I'll take a stamp it could be a script stamp although my favorite one to do that is this one I can't I don't I think I got it on Amazon but it's got like letters and stuff and numbers like typewriter key kind of a deal and then that just fills that in a little bit and then if I want to put it somewhere else not a problem just do it a little bit there a little bit there so I like to do that if I have a gel plate so I'll still use gel plate prints even if they've got like a lot of white showing I just ink over it and stamp on it and oh this one actually is was perfect it was had these colors and the gel plate I, I, this might be one of my favorites and then I made this one it will be a side pocket. The reason I put the uh, thing here is because there was still a little bit of the circle from where it came out of the book. So, and then these are this little corner tuck, little pocket, just rounded the tops. Another corner tuck, corner tuck, although I was going to cut those in half, wasn't I? I could still, but probably won't. Little pocket, little pocket, bigger pocket. So that is what we ended up with with those, what was it, five sheets of collage. Six, seven, eight, nine pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 journal cards, so that's 27, 28, 29, almost 30 pieces, 29 pieces of ephemera from the, uh, from those pages. And sometimes I will just leave them as is, put them in a journal so that somebody else can decorate them. They're just a nice good base for whatever's going to happen to them. How do you guys like to decorate your, um, whoops, your collage pieces? Do you add more layers or do you kind of just put a focal piece on it and you're happy with that? Do you add any mixed media? I know I do have some videos in the past where I've done mixed media on tags and whatnot. Let's see. I think. This one. Oh. I kind of don't want to put that over there because it accentuates that line over there. Maybe. What's he big enough for? Oh. There we go. See, he blends in. Something little for him. And the rest is. The rest. Oh. 
No. Oh, 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 I don't know. So, um, yeah, do you guys like to do some mixed media on yours? Do you like to... Oh, I did that upside down, so you know what we're going to do? We're just going to cover those words. Pretend like they were never there. Because I put that in without paying attention to where the... Um, you know, what direction this was going. I don't like to put things right in the middle. I'm, I don't know if I'm weird like that or if that's just because that's a art thing. Okay, yep, that's the right way. You know how I know it was the right way? Because the sharp sign goes on the left side of the note. Otherwise, I don't know because that's like handwritten kind of a... Sure, want to do him like that? So sometimes I'll layer a little bit more on there. Don't know why, I just do. Now, if anybody knows where the other glue is, it's not where it's supposed to be. It's all right. If I have to add some art glitter glue later, I will. So just kind of, and then I also like to have like little shapes cut out. So I have a, um, a little scallop cutter that I cut this one out of, and this is probably inked paper is what this is and then we will just go ahead and put that on there and put him on here you could you know do like this add a little focal point he's just kind of sitting on the ball kind of sorta he's on the ball the weird scallopy ball but you know And like you could do a little tab that doesn't work because it's not the right color but I could put something through there I'm not good at doing the tops I'm not good at finishing a thing all in one time like when I put it in a journal then I'll decide what I want to put on it and sometimes I don't sometimes I'll just leave it as a whole I don't care it don't bother me this white part here like I did before might do script this time bit of script just kind of go this way with it and then go this way down here so where those they were white but then I inked over them and now they have a little more interest because I have some um, script on them so that's all I do with that so I hope you all have a delightful day love you, love you.